I have my coffee here. Coffee. coffee. Where's my coffee? I can't resist it no more. Okay, whatever. That's as best as I can get. Hi guys, it is Monday, uh, April 20th. There's a car pulling in next to me, so I'm going to pull out. Um, and I am just leaving 7-Eleven right now. It's actually way later than I thought it was. It was like one. And I've been awake for quite some bit. I slept over my friend Mia's house. I just left 7-Eleven to get this because it is 420, so we're gonna glaze it and not blaze it, okay? So yeah, I did get a donut, a glazed donut for an Instagram picture. You know what, I'm gonna go this way because, and I could have gone, but, uh, I hate donuts, but I thought it'd be a funny Instagram picture. Mm. I will tell you guys my dream because Remy was in my dream. It was the weirdest dream I've ever had. So it was like the mall was closed for just like the night and we thought like there was a bunch of kids with, not kids, but like a bunch of like other people with us and we thought that it was acceptable, like an, a normal thing to like take over a store and make it into a different store. Like, we were gonna secretly make it into a different business, into our own business. So we took over Toys R Us, but it was also kind of like a gymnastics place. Like, there was a foam pit and, like, a bouncy floor, a spring floor. Um, so it was the people that I can recognize in my head. Like, you know how you, you like, just have a dream with a bunch of random strangers and they're your friends? Um, there was this kid from home, Remy. Uh, Ava was in it. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I remember what Ava played in my part of my dream. It was really weird, just such random people. Um, and so we took over Toys R Us and tried to make it into a hair salon. So like we had like all these people doing different things. I think Remy was like the business person and I was supposed to be like the, uh, I was just doing like hairstyles, which I'm so bad at hair, so I don't even know what was happening. Um, but for the most part we were like fooling around and stuff and um, we were really scared of getting caught like by the cops or something so like little storylines it was like a whole movie there was like little storylines and stuff like that and Ava was stealing this guy that I liked who in my dream I had no idea who it was like in my dream I knew who it was but I have no idea in real life who it was but like I guess in my mind we had a thing and then Ava was stealing him and then I was getting really mad and so I wanted to leave anyways and then I me and Remy were in like the separate room from everybody and all of a sudden I see this guy in like this bright white shirt or bright yellow shirt and um, it was a janitor from the mall and I just remember yelling janitor and everybody just running and then I woke up so it was a really weird dream <laughs> I just sang to a police officer. Okay, back in the car, a little bit more done up. I'm freezing. My jacket's on the floor though. Um, oh my god, those are really annoying. I am headed to Tori's right now. Um, we're just gonna hang out because normally on Mondays we go to Zumba class together and then come home, eat dinner together, and then watch Teen Mom, and it's so much fun. But she has work, which she normally doesn't have work on Mondays, so she has work later, so we're gonna hang out right now and do God knows what, I don't know. Um, but I brought my donut to make my Instagram picture and <coughs> um, just uh, confirmed is the word, I don't know, but me and Tori and our friend Mia are going to go to a formal, a frat formal, um, at this college, Salem State, if any of you guys know what that is. Um, yeah, we were just asked by some guys that we know, so that's going to be interesting. I think it's in like a week or two or something. So that's going to be interesting and fun. Hello guys, it is April 21st, Tuesday. 
and I have been up for a while. It's 1.30 and I just now am getting food and coffee and stuff because I didn't feel like eating this morning. Um, and hmm, I really, really have to clean my room today because my dog peed in my room, which not her fault because I like, she wasn't let out on time this morning. Yeah. If you guys didn't know, my house is haunted. Very, very, very haunted. And I'm not going to explain the story now because I'm alone and in my house. But when I'm like outside of my house, maybe I'll tell you guys like the stories and stuff. But there are spirits here. Good or bad, I don't know. Um, they've never heard us before, so I'm saying good. Um, but... I always sleep, and my room is in the basement, so I sleep with my dog because it's kind of scary not to because I can't sleep with any light, so it has to be pitch black in here, and I'd rather sleep with my puppy. So, yeah, I didn't let her out this morning, and she peed, so I just have to clean my room. It's not, like, messy, messy. There's just, like, clothes and just random junk and stuff. My bed's not made. Hello, guys. It is uh, now 10.50 p.m. I'm trying to, like, find something I can prop this up on. Yeah, okay. I look like a mess because I've just been laying in bed. Today was crazy. It was a very tiring day, even though I really didn't do that much. The reason why I'm telling you this so late in the day is because I've been contemplating whether or not to tell you guys, but I feel like I vlog all of my life, and especially looking back on these vlogs, like, last night I was laying in bed watching all of my old vlogs, and I was like, wow, I love, like, knowing everything that happened that day, so, uh, today was interesting. I don't want the comments to be like, you're so irresponsible, um, that kind of stuff, because I just, I don't want that. Um, today I almost got arrested. It was crazy. And my heart has never, like, raced that fast before. So, um, I'll tell you guys a story. I live in Massachusetts, as you guys know, Salem. Um, and, uh, there is a town, like, half an hour away from me called Wakefield. And there's this mansion. Um, but there's this mansion that has been abandoned since, like, the 80s. Um, not really abandoned, but, like, it was abandoned, and then the city took it over, so now it's, like, a historical landmark thing, um, and I had heard stories about my brother going into the house, um, and just, like, exploring, and I'd seen videos and pictures, and it looks so crazy cool, it's, like, trashed, and I took, like, a Snapchat, um, so I'll insert that here. <laughs> Someone didn't break it for But, um, yeah, it's, like, this huge 27-bedroom, like, s like, house, and I love anything, like, horror and ghosts and stuff, so it was super interesting to me, and, um, there was just, like, all these hidden rooms, and it was crazy just to explore. We weren't destroying anything, we weren't wrecking anything, there was tons of tags on the wall, like, graffiti tags, we weren't doing any of that kind of stuff. Um, we were literally simply exploring the place because it was really cool, and, I know it is trespassing because it's not our property, but I was stupid and I did it anyways and we um, had gone through the whole house and we had gone in this back room, the very, very last room of the, like the top floor. We were just sitting there and we were just like contemplating whether or not to go into the basement because the basement, my brother had been there before and he said that he like felt things so it was really creepy. Um, so we were like contemplating, do we want to go down there? I don't really know. And um, as soon as we like let our guard down, we were like just kind of sitting there and then all of a sudden the door opened and obviously this place was like tagged. It was destroyed. Like you guys see in that Snapchat, it's destroyed. That's how it is throughout the whole entire house. Like there's broken mirrors and broken windows and just like clothes thrown about and pictures everywhere and like board games. It's crazy. Um, so my first thought process, I had like everything was going through my head it was crazy so the first thing that i thought of was it was a ghost opening the door did i tell you guys that yeah the door opened so i was like okay a ghost is opening this door and i'm going to run the heck out of here 
but that was for like a split second and then we saw a hand grab the door and I was like we are going to get jumped by some crazy people that are on meth that came here to like smoke crack or something and we're going to get jumped and I'm going to die um and then all of a sudden a cop or no yeah two cops come in and one of them has her hand on her gun and literally tells us to put our hands up and I thought it was just like crazy so she was like obviously we were trespassing so she wasn't like the nicest and she was like asking her age and like where we were from and she was like if you're from Salem why the f are you what are the f are you doing here and I was so terrified and um my heart was racing really fast and she was just asking us all these questions and like she's like we can arrest you for this like do you guys have any other records we're like no we don't um so she was talking about like being a like getting arrested and she's like this is a criminal offense like we can take you in for this and like the other guy I think she was training him they were super nice but like authoritative if that's like the way to explain it. I don't really know like we were definitely in the wrong and um so she like asked the people to pull up our records and our names and stuff and then she sees that we're all clear and um so she asked this question that made me and I was with my brother and his friend me and my brother's friend just look at each other like oh my god we're going to get arrested she asked have you ever been arrested before and like when you hear that you're like oh great I'm going to be arrested right now like that is not cool so um, after she searched I didn't have my ID on me it was in my car and um, I didn't have my bag or anything like that so after she searched my brother and his friends bags and themselves because I'm literally wearing a t-shirt and shorts and that's all that I had on me and my keys and my phone so after she searched them um, <laughs> she kind of was just like looking at her partner like we don't really know what to do because obviously we didn't have a record or anything like that and like I don't know so she let us out or like we led them outside because they had to see where we came from so we led them outside and then we're sitting on the steps and they were discussing about what to do and then yeah that's kind of when it was like okay I think they're gonna let us go and then they did let us go but we cannot go back there she says if they catch anybody else back there that they're going to arrest them so it was super terrifying and yeah I thought that we were going to get arrested um but we were not very closely <laughs> we're not um but right now it is 11 o'clock <laughs> and um I'm super tired because like just a crazy whirlwind of stuff happening and um yeah I kind of just hung out with my brother today before that we went like just driving around and stuff listening to music with his friends and just chilling and now I'm waiting for Tori to get out of work and we're going to um watch Team Mom and she went oh got the shivers she wants to learn how to uh skateboard and I want to learn how to longboard my brother has a longboard so maybe we will go adventure and try to do that I did it it's a story I can tell and I'm not very proud of it but you know I wanted you guys to know I love being real in my vlogs and yeah hi right, guys <clears throat> well you know you're not surprised that it's three o'clock and I just started vlogging but um I'm sitting here drinking my second cup of coffee and I just had some lunch and I'm finishing the movie that I started a couple days ago 500 days oh whoa 500 days of summer and it's really good um and it has two of my favorite actors in it Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Chloe Mor Mortez Mortez is that how you say it um but there is a giant fly on my windowsill like so big and I just want to kill it because it's grossing me out ew do you see that it's so big Ugh. hello guys um I would just like to say that I have been an awful person this week and an awful vlogger because okay I'm not making any sense it's like 2 a.m. um I've been an awful person because a I have just been a very terrible vlogger I feel like I haven't really vlogged anything and I've gone places with people and I just haven't vlogged and it's because I don't even know why I've just been like super my makeup is everywhere just like totally distracted I don't really know like I just forget to vlog um also my room is still a mess I said I was gonna clean it earlier in this vlog and it's just it's just gross like, I just don't like living in a messy room, and 
my flowers are about to die because I keep forgetting to water them. Um, it was super nice today, like, so nice. Um, and I hung out with Tori most of the day, and, um, my Nana, obviously, and my cousin, and I just wasn't really on the internet, so when I got back from hanging out with Tori, I got back at, like, midnight, um, I've just been laying here watching some YouTube videos on my iPad. Me and Tori woke up at, like, 1 p.m., so, yeah, that was, like, really bad, uh, we just, like, stayed up super late the night before for no reason. We were watching Teen Mom and Jersey Shore and just feel, like, gross. Like, why is my room such a mess? Why is my life a mess? <laughs> Okay, it is now, I don't actually know the time, 1.25 a.m. Didn't actually realize it was that late. Um, I'm just watching some scandal while I pack. I'm pretty much done. This is everything laid out. It's probably really hard to see, but it is just a really quick trip, but we're going to the concert so I didn't really I wanted to bring something to wear that was nice obviously like concert e but I didn't feel like trying any of it on so I've brought two pairs of pants just in case like you know girls we change our minds all the time and sometimes we feel bad in some things some nights so I brought a pair of like kind of boyfriend I guess they're not really boyfriend jeans they're just like light denim jeggings and then some black high-waisted jeans from Paxson and then I brought like four different kind of tops because I really wasn't sure what I would be feeling so I brought I have just this bandana if I feel like wearing it in my hair I don't think I will but just in case I have a bad hair day because tonight my hair is really really just not cooperating so just in case I have that I have a leather jacket because no matter what shirt I wear I'm gonna wear that um, some pajamas, I have some hair things like dry shampoo and Not Your Mother's Beach Babe spray, which is just a sea salt spray. My curling iron, because I'm just going to like wave my hair. Uh, makeup remover for the night. A bunch of makeup in here. Hello guys, it is 9 o'clock and we are on the road. My father is just coming back from the store. <coughs> I've got coffee and he got muffins for us. So that's awesome. Oh. Hello. Hey. Thank you. And we are headed to New York. You shut my car off? No, nope, just this. No. All right. Okay, we are at our hotel now and uh, we're locked out because apparently the keys didn't work. So we're stuck. My dad went to go fix it. But we're staying at the Inn on the Hudson, I believe that's what it's called. And it's literally right on the Hudson River, which is super pretty. We have a balcony view, so, or at least that's what he told us. And just from, like, sitting down there in the car, it's so pretty. So, yeah, um, I don't really know what's happening. My dad's gonna go golfing, but I don't know if he's leaving me the car or what. So, yeah, I'm kind of hungry. I don't really know what's happening, but it took us, like, three hours to get here. Here's the view we have. Does anybody want to go swimming? Um, <laughs> It's really, really, really pretty, though. I am so tired. Um, I went to bed super late last night, like 3 a.m. because I was packing and uh, just watching videos and stuff. I don't know, I was stupid and fell asleep at 3. I woke up at 8. My eyes are watering now. Um, but I am so hungry, it's 2 o'clock now, and I was gonna eat my muffin, but then I realized that my dad, I left it in the car and my dad took the car. So I might just go walk around and find something. I saw a flea market while we were driving up here. Look at that, I'm crying. Um, I saw a flea market while we were driving up here, so maybe I was thinking I could find a Kentucky Derby hat for the formal that I'm going to, maybe, I don't really know. Um, I obviously don't know this area at all, so I don't know if it's sketchy or not. It kind of looks sketchy, but I don't really know. I'm really hungry and I want food, so I think that I'm gonna walk around a bit. I'm watching some Scandal. Oh, there we go. I'm watching Scandal. Cleaned out my purse because I'm so bored so there's a bunch of trash on my bed. Um, I painted my nails 
they are very messy because I didn't clean them up. I don't have like nail polish remover or anything. Going to put on a little bit of makeup because I don't really have anything on but mascara and I kind of want to put a little bit on before I go out into the world and go get food because I'm so hungry. <laughs> This is a children's park and I just want to know what kind of toy this is. What is that? I don't know. I'm a little bit sketched out walking by myself, but there's a lot of people out, so hopefully nobody will try anything because <laughs> there's lots of witnesses. That place looks really cool. Okay, I am so out of breath, I can't even, because I just got back, and to get to my hotel room, or I guess it's like kind of a motel-ish, not really, like it's a, I don't know, it's kind of like honestly a big apartment complex, kind of, but to get to where my room is, you have to like go, well first the entrance to the hotel is like super steep uphill, so you had to walk all the way up there, and didn't realize that as I was walking down. Um, and then you have to like walk around the building and then up another hill to get to the second level which is where I am. So yeah, I'm super out of breath <laughs> but I just got back and it was kind of terrifying because like there looked like some sketchy people and I'm not like race profiling or anything like that like anybody looked sketchy pretty much on the, uh, on the sidewalk like if there was clusters of people I was like I'm gonna go the other sidewalk just cause like I don't know this area and I don't want to risk anything um, and then I found that cool like kind of flea market and there wasn't really anything there it was honestly kind of like a goodwill which I felt really bad about because there was like people that looked like they needed to sell some things so they had just like random shoes and just stuff that I wasn't really interested in um, didn't find a hat or anything like that kind of more like trinkets and clothing was there um, but I did find a subway at the end of the little flea market, so I got some food. I got a sandwich and chips, and I'm going to finish watching Scandal. And, yeah, my dad, I don't know when he's coming back. I think he left at, like, 1, and it's 3 now. It takes, like, 20 minutes to get to the golf course, he told me, so I don't really know how long it takes to play golf. I literally know nothing about golf. Like, I say I don't follow hockey, but I know the rules of hockey. Like, I've watched games before, but I literally do not know anything about golf at all. So, yeah. How long does it take to play? Is it called playing? Play golf? Yeah, what else would it be called? Okay, anyways, I'm gonna eat and watch. <laughs> Is it working? I don't know. <laughs> I've never done this before. Hi guys. Um, I realized that I didn't end this week's vlog and I kind of didn't even explain like the whole concert I was going to. I think I did explain it but then I cut it out in the vlog because it was, I don't know, lost somewhere. I don't know. But my dad knows a musician, Dana Edelman, the last clip you saw. He grew up with him, and um, we uh, he was having a concert in New York, so we drove up there, saw him. He was super good. He was opening for America, which is a classic rock band, um, and they were okay. But um, he was super good, and I literally have known him probably my whole life, and I remember him coming to my house all the time and with his guitar and playing songs and stuff and dancing around and... So yeah, I was excited to see him, and um, I just wanted to kind of close the vlog up because I didn't do an ending clip because we hung out with him afterwards, and it was super late, and yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're not already. This is my vlog channel. I do have a main channel. Everything is always linked down below. My Twitter, my Instagram, you guys should follow me on there, um, and my main channel. So yeah, thank you guys for watching.